Good evening, champions, and welcome to the class. Hey, Jyotsna, Apsara, Yakub, Defina, Pramukda. I can see some new names out there. Ritika, Jyotsna is super excited. Shri Yenamala. Welcome, guys. A very, very warm welcome to this brand new session. Hi, Uma, Rakesh, Archana, Inshara. Padu Zareen, Rakesh, Shravani. Good, good. I can see more and more kids are joining in. Quickly let your friends know that the class has started. Yes? Hey Rakesh, I'm doing really well. How are you all doing today? Summer break over, still going on? Yes, absolutely. Today's topic is super interesting. It's a really, really important topic. From cocoon to silk. So in the last class, we've discussed about silk. We started with silk, right? Amazing. Good to know that. Defina just came from the school. Oh, the school has restarted. Good to know that. Also, it is amazing that you are still so regular. Nice. So, in the last class, we discussed how the caterpillar just, you know, completely covers itself by silk fibers. And this covering was known as cocoon. Now, from a cocoon to silk, how is the journey? Well, that is what we will be exploring today. Hey, Vedika, good to know that. You know, when you come up and say that you're super excited for the session, this fills us with a lot of energy. Great. But hey, before we dive straight into it, we have a lovely gift for all of you. Baiju's classes and app are now absolutely free. Yes, you've heard it, right? It's of you know it's for zero rupees now all you have to do is use this code yt free and you can unlock the classes and the app for free how many of you have tried this hey pratiksha many of you awesome and what are others waiting for yeah this is a great great opportunity you all have to actually get access to the premium features here at byju's ID free is amazing, absolutely, Ritika. But hey, this is for a limited time period. So don't waste any time. You know, right after this class, you have to go to, you know, you can check out the description box. You can check out the comment section. You'll find the link there. You have to use this code, YT free. I'll put a star mark over here. And then, of course, all premium features would be yours. You know, starting from two teacher advantage to one-on-one -on -one guidance and many more. Hey, Defina has also tried it. Pratiksha, Bhavik. So good to read. So many of you have tried this. Absolutely. So there are amazing features out there. You can explore all these features. And the best part is, no cost is involved here. Ek try to fit definitely one time. Yes. Hey, Divyansh. Absolutely. As for your convenience. See. You can pick up the topic of your choice. You can schedule the class according to you. The timings that suit you. No tejas. We've just started. Okay, Deeksha. Noted. I can see Deeksha is here. Good. Good to know that. All right. Quickly give me loads of thumbs up, loads of smileys if you've tried this and you've liked this. Shri Yenamala is saying, okay, ma'am, I will try it once, definitely. Jab tak kuch try nahi karoge, you'll never get to know how amazing something is, right? So go ahead, try this out and you can actually learn in the most interesting manner. Hey, Atri, a very warm welcome. I see loads of positive emojis over here in the chat box right now. Hey, Ajitesh, good to have you in the class. All right, so I can see the positivity out there. And 
on this positive note, let's get started. Just quickly confirm if I'm perfectly audible or visible or not. So quick, quick thumbs up and then we get started. Hey Akanksha. Waiting for a quick, quick thumbs up. Who's going to be the first one to give me a good to go? Let's see. R1 is also new. Who is going to give me a good to go quickly? Pratiksha, thank you so much. She's the first one to you know give me a thumbs up that everything is working fine. So we'll start with the homework question. Which of the following materials is secreted by silkworms during the process of making silk? And by the way, if Abhishek is here, you can give me you know a thumbs up in the comment section or a smiley. Abhishek was the first one to answer this question. So, science lover, Apsara, Mayank, Devansh, Abhishek, Rupchand, they all took out time to answer this, but Abhishek was the first one. So, amazing. Alright, so in the last class, we discussed about this, that the caterpillar secretes a fiber made of a protein, you know, during the movements of the head. So, the correct answer, yes, you all are right. Everybody is voting for a B option now. The correct answer is option B, that is protein. Absolutely right. See how quickly you people are posting the answers now. Let's get in the habit of answering the homework questions also. Na? So right after this class again, we will be giving you like towards the end, we will be giving you a homework question. And I want to see a thumbs up out there if you promise to attend that. You people just post the answers in the, la uh, in the live chat, you know, and it gets lost. So what we can do is we can always come back and, you know, comment our answers so that it stays there and I can actually see who all are so regular with the homework. Yes, Vedika. Zareen, okay, Defina, Ritika. So, Tia, I can see your thumbs up. I can see your promises. I hope you all would be actually posting the answers also now. Hey, Archana, you can make a random guess first. Okay, so what's the agenda for today? What are we going to cover today? Today, we will be talking about rearing silkworms. We've talked about rearing earlier also, right? Rearing animals, taking care of animals. Today, with respect to silkworm, we'll be talking about rearing. And, of course, we will also be talking about how to process. Now, before we get started, let's quickly recall what we've done in the last class. So, we discussed the interesting life history of silk moth. Over there... There were some steps involved, right? Starting from the step number one, that is, you know, in the beginning, female silk moth lays hundreds of eggs. We discussed that. Some of them you can see over here in the image, right? Then the caterpillar or larvae, they are hatched from the eggs. Hatched basically means they come out. Finally, based on the homework question, you know that the caterpillar secretes a fiber that's made of, of protein. And it just, you know, covers itself by silk fibers. And this covering is known as cocoon. Then it changes into pupa. Development of pupa takes place inside the cocoon. And finally, we get the adult moth. How many of you have, in a way, you know, mastered this life history of silk moth? Let me see. Yeah. Are they the same cute little small eggs? The eggs are too small. Yes, they are really small. I think by now you would have, you know, in a way, this life history of silk moth would be on your fingertips. I have. Good Pratiksha. Ayushi. Good to know that. Apsara. Arohan. All my students are really sincere. They revise before coming to the next class. That's great. Bhavik. Archana, Anita, Vedika. Hmm, correct, Vedika. Divyansh. Okay, so, with the same amount of focus, you know, let's get started. We also discussed about, by the way, one thing more, that silk is obtained from the cocoon of silk moth. Now, the question is how? How is silk obtained from the cocoons? So, let's explore this part of the chapter and, you know, learn it right away so that it saves a lot of time later. There are two main processes which are involved in this. Rearing silkworms and processing silk. We will be starting with the first one that is rearing silkworms. But before that, I want to ask you, I have already discussed what rearing means. Can you recollect and tell me? We have discussed this 
Remember when we were talking about wool, we discussed what rearing means. Let me see how quickly can you answer this one. You have to recall this concept. Because we will be applying you know, the same concept in terms of silkworm as well. Hey Aron, that's you know, another way of looking at it. Okay. Yes, Apsara. Sericulture, correct. But first of all, tell me what is rearing? See, something that we've already discussed, I'll take it for granted that you know it. Pratiksha says taking care. Aditya says taking care of them. Bhavik also says to take care. Zareen says taking care of animals, breed and raise. Hmm, Pramukta is also making guesses. Arohan, Apsara, raising of animals. Yes, you people remember what this means. Awesome. Overall taking care. Raising, correct. Now, you know the idea behind this. So, keep this in mind when we talk with respect to silkworm. So, the first step is going to be rearing. Now, rearing of silkworms for obtaining the raw silk is known as sericulture. We've discussed this as well, right? So, silkworms basically they are reared at, you know, appropriate temperature, humidity. There are proper conditions out there which, you know, helps them in rearing. Yeah, they need proper, yes, Dilip Kumar, absolutely right. So, you already know that a female silk moth lays hundreds of eggs at a time. And these eggs actually are being kept under suitable conditions by the farmers. Now, these conditions are, you know, perfect temperature that is, that is required by them, humidity and also hygienic conditions. That is also really, really important. We all, we all want, you know, a hygienic environment around us, isn't it? So does silkworm. Yeah. Pratisha says heat. We'll come to the heat point really soon. Aditya is posting all interesting emojis. <laughs> Great. Yeah, correct, correct. So, we require certain environment and this, you know, this concept is not just applicable to us. It's perfectly applicable in all other cases as well. So, perfect temperature, perfect humidity and of course, hygienic conditions is, you know, these three, three, these three things are very much required. Now, when suitable temperature is provided to the egg, the larvae or the caterpillar or silkworm, you can call it anything, right? It just comes out of the egg. Right, so it feels safe to come out at this point of time and yes, what happens after that? Well, the silkworms, they eat day and night and like basic common sense, if they are eating day and night, obviously they are going to enormously, they are going to increase their size, right? Yeah, just like us. So yes, definitely we also grow this way only, right? So, they, it's, it's just that the pace is very different. So, they would eat and eat and eat and they would increase in size and this happens say for around 25 to 30 days. So, after around say 30 days or so, the caterpillar, they would stop eating, right? And what do they start then? They, they actually spin cocoons then. Yes, Pratisha. Definitely, I agree. You are a very regular student. Hey, Advika, that's okay. Yes, Vadu, noted. Correct, correct. So, the caterpillar or the silkworm, it actually, you know, spins the cocoon inside which develops the silk moth. So, we can say that cocoons are used to obtain silk fibre. Yeah? Good. Correct. So, you know what rearing means and you now know how exactly rearing is being done in case of a silkworm. Next important thing is going to be processing. If everything about rearing is clear, quick, quick thumbs up, quick, quick smileys. Let's see how many, how, how many of you are super confident about this because I will be asking you questions in between. Tanishka is super confident. 
प्रतीक्षा ऑफिसर राकेश सब बढ़िया से थम्स अप दे रहे हैं स्माइली दे रहे हैं हे वेदिका करेक्ट विल बी स्टार्टिंग अबाउट दिस पदु आदित्य यस प्रतीक्षा क्रेजी ईशान गुड डेफीना गुड टू सी दैट यू पीपल आर सुपर कॉन्फिडेंट सुपर अटेंटिव सुपर सिंसेर अमेजिंग ईच वन ऑफ यू यस रितिका ऑल राइट नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट प्रोसेसिंग सिल्क आई कैन सी सम ऑफ यू ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड पोस्टिंग अबाउट दिस नाउ when we talk about processing the first thing is that the cocoons are kept under the sun you know or exposed to heat or they are boiled basically the temperature is increased in some way or the other now why is this being done this process actually loosens the fibers so initially the fibers are sticking to each other when some heat source is being given to it what happens this stickiness actually decreases so that the silk fibers can now separate out we need to separate the fibers also right so remember why boiling is being done this is actually to separate out the fibers yes hey archan i told you pehle aap guess karo you can post your guess here in the comment box okay votishta noted Yes, this stick completely. वो एक दूसरे से you know stuck होते हैं. Yeah, we need to separate them out. Correct. Now, this brings us to a very important term that is reeling. Don't get confused between rearing and reeling. These are two separate terms. You know what rearing means. That's why I was spending some time over there so that you are very sure about what rearing means. Now it is reeling. It's the process of taking out threads from the cocoon and at large scale it's being done using machines okay i can see bangalore i can see bhopal i can see some guesses out there yeah yes ritika absolutely right now once you know this is being done once reeling is being done after that silk fibers are then spun into silk threads so you all know what spinning is we've talked about spinning in grade 6 as well do you remember your chapter fiber to fabric i'm sure you all have you know mastered that chapter in grade 6 only from fiber yarns are getting made and from yarn finally you know you get the fabric yeah you remember good awesome so yes silk fibers are basically you know they are spun and you get silk threads or you can say silk yarn Defina okay north i'm i've given you a guess okay correct badhiya sab guess maar rahe hain aap is spinning ko lekar you remember okay now after spinning what's going to happen well we all know this they are further woven into silk cloth by weaver so weaving takes place that's the conversion of silk yarn into the fabric so from the threads now finally you're getting the fabric so your final outcome is going to be silk cloth correct yes absolutely right so you want me to quickly recall all the steps which are involved in processing or you will help me out with this okay you tell me all the steps and then i'll actually show you what the steps were first step we'll we'll guess that later we'll guess the state later come on let's focus here first hmm yes advika then they are just woven into your desired clothes eggs boiling reeling spinning weaving okay all right all right okay so when we talk about processing we are basically starting with boiling right so the cocoons they are kept under the sun as i told you maybe you know exposed to heat they can be boiled any which ways some temperature high temperature is being provided then of course reeling that is you know then the threads are taken out from the cocoon then the silk fibers are converted into yarn the yarn further are woven into the silk fabric 
So one, two, three, four, five, five steps. I want five of your favorite emojis if you've understood all these five steps. Dilip, awesome. Simple steps, right? So we've made, you know, made this in such a way that you can learn everything right now in the class itself, and you really don't have to spend much time later. Yeah, Aditya, it's perfect for today's class. It's always amazing to see your favorite emojis, by the way. Great. Nice. I can see ticks also. Green ticks are coming. Rainbows, smileys, butterflies also. Caterpillars also. Okay. All right. So if you think you've actually mastered everything, I have a question for you. Now I am very confident that you will be able to answer, but I want to see who's going to answer first. Why am I so confident that you will be able to answer? Because you know you people are super sincere. This I know by now. Ab bas ye dekhna hai ki sabse pehle kaun answer karega. So we'll just wait and watch who's going to answer the question first. And the question is right in front of you. Which of the following can be used to separate silk fiber from cocoon? Sunlight, cold water, boiling water, or steam? Look at the options very very carefully. Is it only sunlight? Is it only cold water? Is it cold water and steam, or is it sunlight, boiling water, and steam? A, B, C, D. Aditya ne sabse pehle answer kar diye. Pratiksha has also answered. Apsara, Advika, Zareen, Archana, Bhavik, Divyansh, Ritika, Ayushi, Vedika, Pramukda, Padu, Vedika, Tejas, Swati, Dilip Kumar, Defina, Rakesh, Hansika. Now everybody is just, you know, answering so quickly. By the way. I think the moment I just finished the question, just say आपने question समझा digest के उसी वक्त ही answer आ गए। Some of you were saying one, two, three, four में से कुछ, but again, it's very important to read the options carefully. So more than one could be right in this case. Tanishka, Archana, I think we have a majority. Clear cut. Yes, clear cut majority is there. I can see that. I can definitely see. Aisha is also voting for the same option. Yes, Archana. Yes, Devyansh. Correct. Tejas. Pratiksha. Definitely, definitely, you people are absolutely right. Okay. This is what I wanted to check. How sincere are you? Or how attentive you are during the class? So I can definitely smile now because yes, you people are super amazing. Zareen says D can be right, but I think looking at the chat, D is definitely right. We can, you know, it's safe to say that. All right. So, over here, what do we have? We need to loosen these fibers. They are sticking to each other. We need to reduce the stickiness between these fibers or among these fibers, right? Now, to reduce the stickiness, we need to increase the temperature and separate out. You know, they need to be separated. For that, what all can be done? Well, as you people are stating in the chat box. Sunlight, that means option 1 was right, boiling water and steam. So except cold water, all of the other options are in a way increasing the temperature. See cold water, the temperature is decreasing, right? For the rest of them, the temperature is increasing. That's the funda behind this. Hey, Achana wants a menti on this. See, we keep telling you, Whatever you want from us, keep posting in the chat box because we do read your comments and we personally try to read all your comments and act on it. You people really enjoy menti, by the way. You know, her class me ek na ek aisa uh, suggestion aata hai ki let's have menti, let's have menti. Okay, noted. Yes, Apsara. Apsara has mentioned all the three options together. Yes, Shravani. Yeah. You know, I keep reading the name that's there. Hmm. Correct. Yes, Dilip. We'll be talking about what happened in China for that. Discovery. Yes, yes. We'll come to that. You want to mend between chem and bio. Okay. All right. Noted. 
coming back to our question the correct answer as you all are saying is option d that is sunlight boiling water and steam a quick quick thumbs up in the comment section if you've got this one right though i could you know actually figure this out from the chat box that all of you were getting the answers right but i saw somebody write c also that means you forgot to mention sunlight burgers and caterpillars and smileys i just missed who posted that yeah good to see so many of you have got this right okay for the ones who were promising me that this time you know when i'll give you the homework question you will do it so there you go that's the homework question for today don't start posting the answers out there because of course i will not get to know who's done the homework question do this later once the class is over come back post your answer there which of the following is the main purpose behind the boiling of cocoons is it to make silk colorful because we know silk is really colorful right it, it can be dyed into various colors or to make silk hard hmm seems like something interesting or to remove hardness or to reduce stickiness so we've got four options out there if you were attentive you would know this answer in what like you people say in less than 1 second i see some of you are saying c some of you are saying d okay i leave this up to you this is completely up to you for you to figure this out revise the class and you will definitely know the answer vedika says where can we do the homework question okay once the class is over once the live class is over you can come back and post your answer in the comment section so this way before starting the next class i would definitely get to know how many of you have done the homework and who all actually did the homework and this way i also get to know that okay acche se concept samajh aaya hai you've revised it properly and you're super confident about the topic yes yes anshi so vedika anshi is helping you in the comment section all right so if you've liked this class if you, if you found this class informative and interesting quickly hit the like button because as i tell you we feel really nice when you encourage us so quick quick thumbs up quick quick like you know you can just hit the like button right away yes great all right so yes guys we've got you covered we'll keep coming back with amazing sessions for all of you yeah yes yes i have noted that you people want menti we will definitely act on that don't worry about this liked great and by the way i hope all of you there on telegram so all the updates go out there plus so many interesting questions are there interesting facts are there so i think this is this is kind of a very consolidated way of getting to know all the updates session pdfs are also going there so yes i hope all of you have joined if not the link is there in the description box go ahead and join this Great, you people are posting just amazing emojis today. All right, for the ones who've joined the class late, there is this magic code YT free, and this is from our side to you. By using this code, all the classes and app currently would be for free for all of you. But this is for a limited time period only. So, click on the link that you can see in the description box. The first link that you see, right? and then you will go to the Byju's website. Over there, you will see the introductory pack of three sessions. it's some cost written over there but the moment you use this code the fee would be waived off and it's going to be absolutely free so yt free is your magic code to avail all the premium features out there yes yes yt free is awesome i agree i completely agree with you hey yatri i just give you the homework question good to know that hansika thank you so much and yes of course with this we've come to the end of today's chapter but i think divyansh or somebody was writing about silk and discovery of silk right so silk industry by the way it began in china and they kept it a secret for a for a very long time but then how did silk route come into being so explore more about silk route and i'll see you in the next session you people meanwhile quickly like this video subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and of course don't forget to hit this bell icon as well yes yeah silk route find that out yes yes it began in china amazing all right guys so keep working hard keep smiling and i'll see you in the next session take care bye bye